<laughs> I, I don't know what anybody's even talking. Where do you hear that? I don't know. He's plugged in in L.A. right at USC, we all assume. So anytime he speaks about anything USC, we have to listen because Colin Coward's been in the sports media world for a very long time, very accomplished, very good at what he does. I'll listen to a promo or two of his throughout the season. I go, Coward still got it. Yeah. Colin Coward's still throwing his absolute heat. But he is kind of tied in over there. So whenever he alludes to the number one overall pick, potentially not wanting to go to the place – that has the number one overall pick, it's certainly going to make noise, and it did. Mm -hmm. So much so that Caleb Williams actually changed his profile photo to a photo of him wearing a T-shirt as a child with a bear on it. Like that. So now we got Ooh. an entire thing happening. And did, I would assume Colin Cowherd did hear something from somebody who probably would know that maybe they're thinking something. Caleb might be in a different uh, position. There's a lot of smoke right now, combine season, draft season. It is bananas. But when we hear stuff like this, I think it only feeds the narrative that some people have about Caleb Williams, like, relax. But then on the other side, there's people that are like, Caleb Williams is one of the only talents in the last 20 years where if he did do the whole Eli, I'm not going there, it would end up working out because of how talented he is at football. It's just, it's great fodder for conversation. We assume it won't take place, but when it's mentioned, we have to talk about it. It's a massive ordeal there. Yeah, I want to know, though, I think there's a difference between not wanting to go somewhere and are you not willing to go there? Like, yeah, you can easily be like, hey, I don't know if the scheme fits my what I do. I don't know, you know, if they have whatever I'm looking for. But, yeah, if I get drafted, I'll go there. That's It's one thing to not want to go there, but if you're actually willing to pull the old Eli situation – and force your way somewhere else. That's a different story. Eli John Elway. Yep. Uh, it has happened a few different times. Mm -hmm. Not in the modern social media. Yeah. Everything yeah. is either the greatest move or the worst move of all time <laughs> era that we're currently in. But it's like, I think the way some people view him, and I'm not a, we are not draft experts. No. We are not scouting experts, although we do have a very high hit rate whenever we put eyes on somebody. Bingo. We say, That's a Sunday player right there. Very high hit rate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very hot. We don't swing the bat a lot, but whenever we look at somebody, go, oh yeah, that's uh, going to be great in the NFL. So we don't, we don't really do the draft the same way everybody else does. We just hope and assume and break down the situation they're going into, which is a massive piece of it all. But what some people are saying about Caleb is like greatest draft prospect of all time would take him over Andrew Luck, would take him over Peyton Manning. That so all of this shit that has seemingly come out over the last few months about like. You know, the baggage of, like, his dad, I guess, is very loud. Mm -hmm. His dad does a lot. And uh, the thoughts of this and the thoughts of – it's like I, seemingly everybody's saying it's 100% worth it with how great of a football player he is. As one great person told me before when I was describing a situation, when you can spin it, you know, literally – you can do whatever Don't matter. in the yeah. football world. And that's basically how this whole story is going to be written for Caleb, if it works or not. Well, and for like all the rookie QBs. Like I think Daniel Jeremiah said this yesterday. He'd be stunned if the Bears and Patriots don't take a quarterback, but there's a chance the Commanders, he's not completely sold. But for all three of those guys at the top, like you got to have some good feeling about the fact that all the offensive coordinators on those teams are new. Like the Bears, that's a brand new OC. He's going to probably – he probably had to come in with a plan to sell, like, hey, this is what I want to do with what whatever rookie QB you guys like. Like, there has to be some sort of... Or they're trading. Or, or they're, yeah, or this they're trading out, and this is what they're doing with Fields. But, like, at least having some sort of plan for players like that has to reiterate, not reiterate, but kind of help a little bit for them. You know what I appreciate, though, AJ, is who, whoever told Colin Coward this information, they were like, we'd like to help the Chicago Bears make their decision on whether or not they want to stay at one or if they want to trade. Colin, why don't you tell the world... Mm -hmm. He's not interested in going. It's that, like, you know, mm, I'm not going to say arrogance, but it is kind of that arrogance that, like, yeah. a lot of NFL people that I've chatted with are like, let's see, dude. You know, everybody's saying you're the next Patrick Mahomes doesn't mean you are. You know, there's been a lot of people that have been tagged the next a lot of things, and it hasn't worked out. From what we have seen and watched, I think he's going to have success. But, like, a lot of it is dependent upon him making plays and extending plays. And it's like D linemen in the NFL run four twos, four threes. It's a little bit different than in college. Not saying it's not going to work, but all of this shit that is coming outside of the Caleb Williams, which might be fake, you know. But all of this, like, he's only going to these couple teams is what it was beforehand. He won't do this. It's like that's already a lot. It's already a lot for somebody that's Would never – Would you take him? Would you draft somebody if you knew they were public about not wanting to play there? 
Yeah, because I think like uh, little things lead to big things, right? Which is kind of the conversation. Like all of these are kind of indicators, I think, that are not good for Caleb. And I'm not saying Caleb's a part of it, but I'm just saying some people could view yeah. If this is how he's handling this situation, let alone whenever we got to redo a offense coordinator or we have to do this, how are they going to handle all this? And then it seems like all the, you know, like you hear – Tom Brady talked the other day. He's like, the team, the team, the team, yeah. the team, the team, the team. Quiet. You don't really hear it. You know, C.J. Stroud coming out, just super. Every, well, he's dumb, obviously. That C2 course. thing said that he's dumb. But everything else was just like, whatever, whatever. It's, you know, there's some indicators that would lead that maybe this doesn't happen whenever somebody's really good. Mm -hmm. But Joey Burrow, there was rumors for a Big little up. bit that he was yeah. potentially going to leave, and he's worked out pretty good. So it's like... Would I draft Caleb if I'm number one and I need a quarterback? Yeah, I'm taking him. You know, just not you only bad. know from speaking with him. When they like, if you're going to take him number one, you're going to have plenty of times where you worked him out, you brought him in, you've talked to him, you've probably talked to his family, his coaches. Like you have a much better idea than we do, just sitting here hearing what other people are saying. Exactly, and I would like to get the chance to learn more about him because all we ever hear about him is just like, well, his people are saying this. It's like I'm tired of hearing from his people. I, I would like yeah. to hear from Caleb. It's a hard Williams. thing, though. Everybody has people. Like even in college now, a lot of guys have people because of how the whole NIL situation plays well, out. Caleb Williams is camp. It's like I want to hear from Caleb. Yeah. I, I'm about sick of hearing from the camp. You know, because we're not drafting the camp. We're yeah. drafting Caleb Williams. Yeah. But you are you also drafting the camp? You which are also. Yeah. You, it, it all comes with it. Yeah, which is a whole other decision to make for a billion-dollar yeah. organization. When I first saw this, though, and given last year with the uh, C.J. Stroud stuff and when we kind of just be like, hey, is it possible that the Texans leaked all of that stuff because they knew all along, hey, we want him at number two. Like, is this potentially the Bears just kicking this up to see, hey, well, some other team, He he's obviously regarded as the – the top quarterback, no matter what, you know, it's not even close compared to the other two guys. Are they just putting this out there to kind of kick the tires on everyone else and be like, hey, let's see if we can get another team to kind of give us a king's ransom to move up to number one to take this guy? Uh, we do have to remember that. We can't be so immature. It's very possible. We are. Everything is bullshit. We are 10 yeah. days away from bullshit season. Which, and we talked about, Ugh. like... Oh, my God. Jesus, with Tony. Every day we're going to have to deal with, with Burrow, it. Burrow? Like, a number on it? Burrow, that we, it it, like, Burrow at one point, it was like, yeah, for sure he's not playing for the Bengals. He doesn't want to, and it turns out that was all bullshit. This could be all bullshit. And I think it would be nice to come out and hear him talk, but him putting up the picture of him wearing the bear on the... That's, that is his version of saying, this is bullshit. Hey, Caleb. Good luck, man. It's going to get so loud. Oh, yeah. Cuff tough months, go to Media Caleb. Day, right? It's going to be so loud. A lot of these loud. guys, are, when they go to Media Day, probably, I'm sure they're getting paid good money to, For to the, promote the some combine. stuff. You're talking about at the Radio Row? Yeah. We've got a list of some uh, people that are coming. There'll be college I, guys there, right? Some yeah. guys that are draft eligible. There usually is. Yeah, I don't think Caleb, though. I don't think We had Caleb. Hooker last year. He was selling them beans. Hooker, Those were Stroud. 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 St